Welcome to the Equinity Podcast, where horse owners just like you share their incredible Equinity stories and how Equinity is changing their horses' lives. Whether you're searching for something to give your performance horse better focus, faster recovery, and more stamina, or in the extreme case where all hope seems lost, give your horse what it needs to help heal at a cellular level, you'll find it here. So jump in on today's episode to hear how Equinity is helping horses worldwide. Now, welcome your host, John Dowdy. Hello and welcome to this week's Equinity Podcast. We are swinging out into the great state of California this week. We've got Pam Reisler on the call. Uh, Pam, welcome to the Equinity Podcast. Thank you. I'm I'm really happy to be here to share my story. Well, uh, as always, we are always excited to have guests on uh, to share these stories. It, it's kind of taken on a life of its own, these podcasts, and uh, it's shown to help a lot of people out there who are might be going through similar situations, and uh, this week we're going to be talking about your 14-year-old cutting horse that uh, you've had for about 10 years. Uh, let's back up. We're going to talk about uh, some laminitis, founder, uh, inflammation, uh, stall rest for a year, and uh, let's back it up to how how was the horse prior to that, kind of what happened, and then how you came across our product. So that'll kind of be the the format here. Well, he's, he's he's 14 now, and he is a um, a cutting horse, um, and we competed really heavily <clears throat> for four years, and um, then I brought him I brought him home, and uh, started just doing a little bit of pasture and things like that. It didn't agree with him, and he, <coughs> excuse me. And he uh, he started to get some um, inflammation and went lame and got totally laminitic on his left front foot. And um, we got him into the vet and his coffin bone had rotated. He was dropping. It was it was just a very bad situation. So we started treatment with him which you know we had to core his foot and do all kinds of stuff and he was on stall rest for a year and during that time it was just a little bit of hand walk and nothing more and uh, he was pretty depressed because he's a very social horse and uh, we slowly got him back to rehab and working, um, walking and finally riding a little bit, you know, doing a little bit of straight line arena work and things like that. And by the grace of God, we finally got to a point where we could start seeing if he could work again and his, his foot, came back and we started working and he was doing really well. And then I found Equinity and I found <laughs> no. it, I found it on Facebook. Ah, yes. Now, before we get in, <clears throat> before yeah. we get into that, uh, if we back up what, when, when this happened with your horse, so we're talking founder, there were some rotation, we've got inflammation, right. the abscess, what was the uh, the vet's take on the situation? Was it well the the take on the vet's take on the situation really was if you don't follow the exact protocol and feed him you know hay that's tested low in sugar and keeping him rested you know no move no movement things like that um, he wouldn't make it. I mean, it was, it was dire. So I did everything I could to keep him going. So that obviously pretty scary. Very scary. Yeah. Now with the founder in the rotation, was it to the point where it was already coming through the soul or looks like it was coming through the soul? No, it wasn't. It wasn't quite there yet. It was, his soul was very, um, was very, in at that point and we just kept him trimmed 
an in soft ride boot every four to five weeks, just checking him. And along with some of the products I was using then, it it grew back. It's really it's really good now. You know, it just took a long time, sure. but it really yeah, it really bounced back fast when you know made a huge jump in rehab and when i found the equinity yeah so you came across obviously you, uh, now just for a time frame we're talking uh almost three years ago when this happened or four right four years rather right. so he was on stall, stall yeah. rest for a year so i'm sure depression you know being the socialite that, that you say he was he, he probably was a more than depressed coming out and ready to get out. So you just had to start doing things really light. So you came across the Equinity product and oh, yeah. how long did it take before you started noticing faster you changes? Know, I noticed that probably a month in, I would just get on him and walk him and things like that. And pretty soon he was telling me that he wanted to do a little bit more and he was brighter. And he had a little bit more pep in his step and he was just feeling his whole attitude was just way, way better. Mm -hmm. He was happier um, and he was just exhibiting, just exhibiting, um, what can I say? It would be like when you wake up on the right side of the bed and go, (laughs) wow, hi, you know. Yeah. you know, he, he was, he, it, it helped him tremendously right. to, uh, you know, to get, to get on this, on this product. Sure. Yeah. Now for, know, for he, those of you who are tuning in for the first time, maybe you're uh, doing your research and you, you've come across this Equinity product. Now we're specifically talking about Equinity Horse Excel. We've got two products, uh, which I'll talk a little bit about the second one, but what we're talking about here is the Equinity Horse Excel. Uh, it's 100% pure amino acids. There's no fillers, no sugars, no starches, and there's no loading dose. So a serving size is a little tiny scoop of a teaspoon, um, and they tend to just lick it right up. And what it's specifically designed to do is give the body what it needs to release the necessary hormones from the pituitary, which then, once that happens, the body's able to send its own hormones to its own problem areas. So this is why it helps in so many ways, recovery, stamina, focus, uh, specifically when we're talking about performance horse. When we're talking about uh, horses like in this situation, from a recovery standpoint, it really helps accelerate all of that. And when you get into uh, hoof quality, sole depth, uh, muscle building, shiny coat, you know, their overall attitude, uh, because we're giving the body what it needs to help repair at the cellular level. And so this is why it doesn't fit into a specific category of a hoof supplement or joint supplement or any any specific thing. It's uh, an inside-out type of a thing. So uh, just last year, um, well, about one year ago today, uh, we launched a secondary product to work in combination with the Horse Excel, and that is called Equinity Ultimate OEC. And that was uh, from a big help from uh, Dr. Zach Brugan out in Arkansas, who came to us and said, hey, I think this would be a really great fit. And what it is, it's a flaxseed-based omega-3 oil. It's got 1,000 IUs of natural vitamin E and colloidal silver all in one. And so it serves as a really powerful antioxidant, which helps reduce inflammation. And working in combination with the aminos, it gives those repaired cells some nutrition, which helps operate at optimal levels. So, uh, and you had just now received uh, some of the OEC product. Um, so, you, um, you haven't tried that yet, or maybe you've just started on it. But yeah, uh, I just started. I just started with it. Yeah. So now, looking back, uh, in June of 2018 is when you started the Horse Excel. So you've been uh, almost a three-year Equinity user. Um, how is the overall condition? What is this horse doing these days? His condition is phenomenal. Um, his his coat. I mean, he gets out. He gets supplements anyway. But his coat is amazing. His attitude is amazing. He's back to working cattle three times a week and back to showing again. And um, <laughs> he's in really enjoying life. Yeah, sounds like. Know? He's really, he's really enjoying himself. His whole attitude is, 
is just great. And as you know, because I've called you twice now in a panic, yeah. right? Because yeah. I couldn't get the product at my seed store. They ran out of it because there's a lot of people using it in this area now. Please send me some because I, you know, I just don't want him to be without it. Sure. You know, um, now I, did, I didn't ask you this question, uh, prior to us, uh, recording the podcast, but you had mentioned to me that he had, um, regular abscesses in his left front hoof. Yeah. He had regular abscesses in his left front foot from the time I purchased him in 2011. Every winter he would get abscesses and he's not had one now since this. That's since incredible. I've had him on this. He's not had one abscess. That is incredible. So if your horse is, uh, has regular abscesses, it might be a, a product to look into. <laughs> well, I know it's helped him um, in conjunction with the other products that he gets. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's completely helped him. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. I tell people all the time, you know, this Equinity product, is, uh, the products, you know, they're not a you know, the end all be all is not the magic thing. The only thing that you can use, but what we have just seen with being on the market for seven years, as a matter of fact, we tell people, you know, whatever you're using, you have a baseline, you know what the product's doing or not doing. And so just add this to it. It's hundred percent safe with any medications. Right. And so that way you're only changing one element with the Quinity horse Excel and I would say, you know, the product starts working within 24 hours. And although a lot of people can start to see changes in a couple of weeks, I would say the vast majority see changes in 30 days or less. And at that point, you can decide whether to reduce or maybe stop using other things. But that is 100% up to the uh, the horse owner, obviously. So, you know, when right. I, oh, I, yeah, I use it, I use it in conjunction with what, with the, with the products that he gets, because. I know that it's helping boost whatever, whatever benefits the other products are giving. Him. Sure. It's just boosting that. Yep. Yeah. And, 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 and um, in the situation that you were dealing with where you, you basically almost lost him. And so now he's got to have a very specific diet and different things. So you don't want to change any of that, obviously. Um, no. Yeah. But with him being a, a working horse, you know, this really helps uh, keep his uh, edge going on. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now, one other thing before we uh, sign off, you had mentioned to me that uh, your friend has three older horses that one of them is will probably always be a little bit on the lame side, but uh, you had given her some samples or had told her about the product. Uh, give us a, a little overview of what these horses were like before using Equinity, and then how are they doing now? Well, um, I gave, yeah, I I met her about six months ago and she said she had these three older horses the two of that she had rescued and we found out subsequently that they're all well into their 20s so i went over saw the horses gave her some suggestions um we we got them all squared away and straightened out as far as their feet and everything else and they were all a little bit sore. And I said, well, here, you know, try this equinity because it did this, did some great things for my horses. Well, she started on the equinity this winter and a couple of weeks went by and she called me up and sent me this video and said, you got to see this because these guys, it's in the middle of winter, right? <laughs> yeah. These three horses are running around in the pasture, bucking and kicking and playing like they're three-year-olds. Oh. And she, she was amazed because they just bloomed with, with adding the equinity into their diet. And she, she was feeding really well. Mm -hmm. This just boosted them like crazy. And she wouldn't be without it now either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's what it's a really interesting thing because this product, um, it really helps these horses feel good. Now it doesn't make them hot. No, no, not at all. They feel really, really good. And we've seen this, you know, it doesn't matter if you're at the most, uh, high end performance barn that get the creme de la creme of everything, or you go just to a farm and they're giving what they would consider to be the creme de la creme of feed and care and everything. 
it seems to be across the board when they add the Equinity Horse XL, it always helps in some way, shape, or form. Soft tissue repair, recovery, stamina, hoof quality, mm-hmm. coat, um, just their whole demeanor. They, they're, I, I would say one of the probably better descriptions that people often say is it just helps balance the horse from the inside out. Absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, before we sign off, if there's uh, someone tuning into the call and they're thinking to themselves, well, you know, this sounds pretty good, but I'm still on the fence a little bit. Would you have anything to say to them to maybe get them to try the product? Yeah, get off the fence. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's really a good product. It, it is not going to hurt the horse at all. And try it for yourself. I mean, it's, it's done a great service to my horses and to the three little old horses that I was talking about. Um, but give it, give it a chance, try it, give it a chance and tune into your horse and you'll see a difference. You really will. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, it's great. Awesome. Well, Pam Reisler out of California. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your story here on the Equinity podcast. Thank you for having me. All right, you bet. Thanks. Bye-bye. That's all for this episode of the Equinity Podcast. For more information on purchasing Equinity, be sure to visit our website at teamequinity.com, where you'll also find product information as well as more testimonials on how others have seen amazing results by implementing Equinity into their horse's supplement regime. We'll have more stories on how Equinity is helping horses worldwide right here on a future episode of the Equinity Podcast.